Chapter 17 Flora Excerpt from the Citizens' Assembly on the Raising of Taxes on the Gridlock Report Number 147 Testimony from Randomly Selected Citizen Mr. Ari Doff Paul Times change, yes, but we forget what the gridlock was, a freak accident. It was never supposed to develop into what it is today. Now it's full of homes, businesses, and new infrastructure. What happens if we have to one day evacuate again and we can't leave because it's all been absorbed into the city? What would be the point? Raise the tax rates to the original tax rates when the gridlock formed, much higher. Away from the world, in the old storm drain underneath the city, Flora paged through the mech maneuvers manuals. The spacious cavern helped initially, but soon became stifling. She wanted to get out and take up the offer to train with Argent, but Rulo was afraid to let her go until he felt confident that the mech would be safe. It was frustrating. To prove herself, she wanted to find and execute a difficult maneuver to convince Rulo of her skill. I haven't seen some of these maneuvers in years. Dash dancing? Rulo said as he knelt down to read alongside her. Wild. You essentially activate your jets on the ground when you change course, and then alternate it from side to side to keep your opponents guessing which way you will go. That's rad. I'm going to try it, Flora said. That? Really? Well, I'm not your coach. I can't stop you from doing that. Just please be careful. It would have helped if you did, coach. Why don't you do it anymore? What's up with that? Flora asked, probing him. Perhaps if she knew why he was afraid, she could more readily convince him. I can't talk about it. Sorry. Why? Personal reasons. Nothing else. Now, go try some dash dancing, Rulo said, gesturing towards the large storm drain. Flora didn't move. She sincerely opened up to make him more comfortable. I haven't said this to other people often, but I'm incredibly confused about a lot of things. At any given point, there's a shitload of emotions that are fighting inside me. It's okay to feel confused. Sorry to hear. He backed away, turned around, and started trembling. Flora moved closer. Did she hit a nerve? I'm sorry. Rulo straightened his shoulder pads and turned back around. It's my dog, Pekilo. I lost him. It was all my fault. He huffed and bit his lip. Pekilo liked to come with me when I was doing runs and jumps. I would hold him and he would enjoy the wind and the jumps. You know, in the old videos with the dogs peering out of cars, tongues wagging, like that. We love doing it. I was on my way to a coaching session one day when I thought I'd treat him with an extended jet jump, hovering over some of the cars in the gridlock. He fell out of my arms. When I looked down to see where, I also flailed and lost control, falling, swerving, just managing to miss the cars. I hit the sidewalk really hard, knocking myself out. When I came to, Pekilo wasn't there. I don't know if he's dead or alive. I've never seen him since. That's sad. She felt bad about pushing him, especially considering the similarity of his loss. I know how that feels. Well, not really. Just that part of losing someone and not knowing where they are. I just feel so goddamn guilty. I miss him so much. Rulo said, coughing back some emotion. Hey, it's okay. Pekilo is alive, okay? He's thriving out there in the trunks. He'll come back. Rulo nodded and tried to force a smile. I think you should just continue doing some training. Flora looked at him and saw a boy inside a man's body, just wanting to hold on to the things that matter. Hey, why don't you just try doing a small jet jump in your old mech? It might help you feel better. I'm here. And whatever happens, we can keep it between us. It would help him and her if he gained some confidence. He contemplated it for a moment. Are you sure? Totally sure. Rulo got up and released an anxious breath. He didn't have to put on shoulder pads. They were always there. He shook his hands free of anxiety and inched into his mech. Strapped in, he turned it on. It hummed. He looked snug. Flora's own heart beat faster, watching Rulo's eyes widen. His breathing started becoming more laborious, air struggling to flow. He suddenly panicked and threw himself out of the mech. Flora rushed over and held him. He reciprocated, holding on like he was about to lose his dog again. Deep underneath the city, with its multiple blankets above them, the earth, the trunks, the mid-levels, the apartments, the penthouses, the dome... 
Flora tried to comfort him. It's okay. You are okay. Rulo eventually let go, stood, and walked over to a corner of the storm drain, wiping back tears, hiding them. He slowly walked back with red eyes and a hunched head. I'm sorry, he said. No, please. Nothing to be sorry about. Flora felt bad for suggesting it. I'm such a loser. Can't even get into a mech because of a dog. Hey, no, Rulo, don't beat yourself up, okay? We all have our shit. You were brave. Maybe we should call it quits for today. I'll come back tomorrow for some more training. No, please, continue. I want to see the dash dancing. You sure? Flora, train, please. Maybe the opportunity still existed to show him. To do dash dancing, you had to time it well. Otherwise, you risked slipping or tripping. She climbed back into her mech and fired it up. Taking a deep breath, she looked back at Rulo and started running. She dashed in one direction and activated the jet just as she changed course. Without hesitation, she dashed again in the opposite direction, sliding along the bottom of the cavern in a dance. Resonating along with the machine, she felt its power once again course through her veins. She imagined running into the desert, jumping high over the dunes, running and flying towards the answers. She took it up a notch. There was another move she saw in the manual, the twister. A technique where, across a chasm, the mech would twist like a screw, parallel to the ground, allowing the runner to monitor what was happening around them. Filled with confidence, she ran across a chasm in the cave and jumped into a twist. It definitely did not feel like the simulator, that's for sure. With the world swirling around her, it felt like she was staring at the anomaly itself. She panicked, activating her thrusters out of habit. It sent her flailing upwards. Flora corrected herself in time to avoid crashing into the ceiling, sending her towards a column instead. She nicked the Meg's leg on it, stumbling towards the floor. With all her might, Flora corrected herself like a cat twisting itself for a landing. Close to the floor, she executed jets from all four limbs to brace for impact. She landed with a hard thud, sending dust into the other mechs and Rulo. Spilling out of her mech onto the ground, she glimpsed the massive dent in the mech's leg. Oh shit, oh shit, Rulo said. She screwed up. As Flora caught her breath, she turned sideways to Rulo, propping herself up with her arms. I'm so sorry, I'm so, so sorry. Rulo's eyes were doing some dash dancing of their own, surveying the damage. He knelt down and put his face in his palms. Flora hesitated closer, unsure if he would explode. Rulo turned towards Flora, face in a deadpan expression. He looked past her. What's the point? What do you mean, Rulo? I'm so sorry. This can be fixed. I will fix it. He met her eyes. There's no point in holding on to anything, if nothing that I do can stop it. There's no point in keeping you here. You need to leave, train outside, not in this cave. This isn't how you will win. Not the response she was expecting. Now she felt even worse. I'll fix it out of my own pockets, even if I don't win. And we can switch it up so you can still watch me to ensure I'm keeping it safe. Once or twice a week, I can come practice down here. Rulo shook his head. No, I know what you're trying to do. Please do this for me. For you? What do you mean? If I can't get into a mech on short notice, how will I protect myself and the people I care about? What if I need to save Saga one day? I need to start somewhere. Learn from somewhere to let go. Don't worry about the mech. It's always been my responsibility. All I ask of you is to not make my life too difficult. The rest I can handle. Or at least, learn to handle. Flora was taken aback. Not just because Rulo surprised her, but she saw him take an option that she was afraid of. To let go. To let go of her questions. To let go of her father. Are you sure? Flora, Rulo said, rolling his still red eyes at her. Leave. Please. Flora nodded. Before she climbed in, she walked around the mech to make sure no other damage existed besides the dents and scratches. It was fine. She climbed up to one of the canals that led outside. At the top, she looked down. They made eye contact and nodded goodbye. The experience made her dizzy as she walked the mech up out of the canals. Poor Rulo. Yet he was brave. 
maybe she was the one that was afraid. Letting go felt like it would be the biggest betrayal to herself. She needed answers. She needed to be with someone who understood her. She was ready to train with Argent. <laughs>